Sorry, guys. Just dealing with the form and the business crap. It never ends. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the click uh, click this podcast, KLIQ. So if you were a fan of Kevin Nash and the NWO, I'm, those of you who aren't into wrestling or think it's stupid, you can just plug your ears for the next 10 seconds. But he does a click this podcast. He talks about current events and all these other things. And like I, 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 I listen to it, you know, regularly. I mean, not not I don't listen to it as it's done or whatever. But like I listen to, I'm not sure how many episodes. I think they started, they started around a year ago. Yeah. I do have a life outside of streaming. That is that is right. So here, getting actually, you know what? Having are you serious with that right now? Having prep stations would be very good. Um, start having prep stations would be good. It's gonna call a couple. We need some cash. Right now we're getting what nine per. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, prep stations would be good now because now we can start. Oh right, we have leisurely eating. I totally forgot that they're gonna take forever to eat. Totally forgot. So I shouldn't call. I can't. You can't call or you shouldn't call too fast when you're leisurely eating because you're going to end up getting screwed. So I'm also looking into getting, uh, looking into getting, uh, what are they called? Coffee tables? Not so much. Usually I don't listen to this in radio, just if I'm in the mood. Okay. Oh, I understand. Oh, not a problem. Yeah, the Click This Podcast. Like, it's a podcast, but there's video. Like, it's a video podcast, I guess. I'm sure, I guess you could listen to it. Like, you don't need to watch. They don't have that many visuals. Um, yeah, it's it's. I, I like stuff like it, but I like to watch stuff. There's a couple guys, YouTube creators. Uh, one was wrestling bios, another one was what culture. I think what culture wrestling is their their bigger thing, and like I, I like watching stuff like that. And you know, it's not that it's necessarily a lot of behind the scenes. It's not it's not a lot of that, but it's recap stuff from you know. Uh, and the, this guy wrestling bios, he does the reliving the war. So every week. He goes back in time to when you know the, you remember the Monday Night Wars, you know WWF and oh okay I almost I definitely almost messed that up. Um, he he goes back and he reviews like um, Nitro and um, Raw from those from like those weeks like for one episode a week or whatever and it's like I love watching it. it's so cool because it's like stuff that I was into hard I was hardcore into wrestling. Back in the mid '90s, where I was no, even like '92, '91. When I was a kid, I remember being at my, well, not my parents' house, but at, at our, my old house where my parents used to live, and watching you know superstars, WF superstars. That's before Nitro or before WCW was really on TV very much. Watch it and like you know, Hogan and all. Oh man, I, I just the thing is, those, those guys are dying off. It's like they're in their '60s, and, and some of them are even a little older than that. It's like, oh man, it's makes you feel old. But again, people who were born in the 50s say the same thing now from from back then. It's like, man, I remember missed the 70s. This is the old, it's, it's just, man, man, it's just the way it is, right? Just the way, it's the way she goes. The way, what is this? This is a, this is a basin. So, so she likes soaking sinks, honestly. Um, I'm going to buy, we have enough money to buy everything. I kind of always want to copy coffee tables. Um, so I think we'll just, hold on, let me just buy, let's just buy these two. Why not, right? This can go here, this can go here, this can go here. We should have, like, having two soaking sinks should be plenty for what we need. Plenty, plenty, plenty. And I'm not going to do any kind of automated, I don't need to do that crap, uh, or that stuff. It's not crap, stuff, I don't need that stuff. What I want to do with the batats is I actually want to go, um, I want to do this, and we're going to swippy swap this to this. That way there's at least two potatoes going at one time. So now I want to, <coughs> excuse me. Actually, what I should do, what I should do is push this down one. Because now we'll have three potatoes going. I'm going to push this down like that. And then that way I can always have an extra fish of something here. Um, that's what we need to get prep stations. So prep stations will be the next thing. Because tomorrow we'll be able to buy more of these prep stations, and then we're then we're rocking and rolling here. You don't want frozen preps with fish. You don't want frozen preps because it won't it won't work. So uh, one of the reasons I think personally is really like hearing about the prunes. Yeah, well, oh, okay. So I, I'm the, kind of the opposite of that, Appy. I lo I love the behind the scenes stuff. I mean, th th these days I don't watch wrestling now. I don't watch Raw. I don't watch anything right now. AW. I don't watch that. Um, because to me, back in the day, it was always it was less scripted, which it was less scripted. So some of the interviews and the in in, in like you know the, the promos, they were a lot of it was just people where they were just talking. They weren't scripted to a T that they are now. And I understand now. Back then, it was called wrestling. Now 
last 15 years is called entertainment because that's what it is. It's entertainment. It's not wrestling. And I remember EC, I mean, if, if I grew up an hour outside of Philadelphia, an hour and a half outside of Philadelphia in Pennsylvania, you know, back in the 90s and 80s. And if you ever watched ECW, you've heard of that with Paul Heyman and Sabu and Tate Merrill, all that. Like, I was back in the mid, early to mid 90s, and then that kind of fizzled out when the 2000s came. But I used to be into ECW. Oh, I, could, I could talk about wrestling. If anybody ever wants to have a wrestling Twitch where we just watch wrestling clips, I'll happily do that. So, Doug, yes, the, the, the Shogun Seeds takes 10 seconds. But with leisurely eating, I think we'll be okay with it. Yes. Odin, I agree, and that what and what Odin is is talking about is called the Attitude Era, arguably the best era, and that was from about ninety seven to about two thousand, maybe two thousand one, and then that went to like the ruthless aggression area when John Cena started coming and Rock became Hollywood. But yeah, for those three years, it was during the Monday Night Wars, like ninety end of ninety seven into ninety eight into ninety nine. To me, that was if you were a wrestling fan, that those are the the best years ever, ever. And I mean, hey, that's that's me. Okay, let's uh let's just do it. <laughs> It's like freaking chit chat in here. Man, oh man, I love it. Lurk, thank you so much for the Lurk, Haley. It was nice seeing you. Thank you, thank you for sticking around. Yeah, I mean, leisurely eating isn't. It, it's not. Okay, it's. Look at that. Uh, do I want. No, I, I need a. Whatchamacallit? I want a. Uh, no, don't change your order. I, no, no, no. I want a. Um, I want some. Some preppies. Dude, dude, I, call, I can call three times. So that should be. Sufficient. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put a, a, a blue fish down here. Okay, these people are gonna wait outside. So we be done at three. Yes, there we go. I mean, if you wouldn't call at all, <clears throat> if I wouldn't call at all, then you would have no issues at all with this. Um, yeah, because see, they're done already. So it, you can kind of look at it as factorio. So it's like you have one plate every ten seconds, but if you have two, you're basically having one plate every five seconds. But that doesn't necessarily hold. I'm gonna give that out now so I don't miss it. Doesn't necessarily hold true because you're getting two every 10 seconds. But again, for what we're doing here, if you don't want to call anybody, this is this is easily keeping up. Actually, these seem a lot faster than 10 seconds. Did these get like a recent buff? That was, they seem a lot faster than 10 seconds. Like significantly faster than 10 seconds. Hmm. Like significantly faster than 10 seconds. Maybe I was, I was, I think I was wrong with that statement. I don't think it was 10 seconds at all. Okay, next one count. Does everyone have a timer? Timer. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's like six seconds. Hmm, interesting. You learn something every day. I think they used to, and then I know they got a boost to them. I think they used to be 10 seconds. I don't know. Don't know. Don't matter. <laughs> Let's call the... Are we going to get a free ring? Nice. Maybe it's not 10 seconds. A lot of the star, John Cena. Yeah, I, I remember that as well. That was... I stopped kind of... I wasn't watching it very much at that point. Um, maybe 2001, 2002. And then I went to a couple events. I was at... I was at, I was at, and then and this isn't to anything to talk about Chris Benoit about what happened with him, but I was at the Royal Rumble where he won the title. I don't know what year that would have been, 2003 maybe. Um, I was at that pay per view because it was in Philadelphia, and then I was at a Raw taping or a Raw back uh, might have been the year prior or something with that, and and it was okay. Um, it was okay. Like I, if I would have went with different people. Uh, Excuse me, I would have had probably a better time, but uh, it was, yeah, it doesn't, I don't want to complain, but uh, yeah, yeah, I was at the Royal Rumble. I think it was Royal Rumble. It was one of the paper, I had to be Royal Rumble, but uh, yeah, easy, oh, I used to love that stuff. Anyway, Haley left because we're talking wrestling. <laughs> Closer to five to six seconds, yeah, um, I don't I mean, I don't remember. I'm sure Ty tells you on the wiki <clears throat> um, what, what it actually is. Did Louise right back? Okay, all right. I think I'm done with my. I'm gonna yeah. We'll we'll, we'll franchise and then we'll we'll just do some chit chitty chatting. So I'm gonna buy this one again and then I'm gonna do the same thing here as I have this setup. It's just because I don't have any prep stations. It's just to give us an extra. Actually, I have to go back uh, one more, like that. That this this and then that. This way we'll have extra, um, extra fish. Like have an extra fish, like that. There we go. So now we have um, extra fish. 
what I should actually do in this then is I should move this down to here. I know a lot of rearranging, which a lot of people don't like seeing. I don't mind doing it. Because that way we can have, we'll always have three fish here. We'll always have three patats, potatoes, and here we'll always have one, but I can always put one here. So we're good to go. Uh, nine groups on day. Do we need any of this stuff? Flower pot. I, I hate flower pots. There's a scrubby brush. There you go, Ace. I could buy it for Ace, but I can't use a scrubby brush with a soaking sink anyway. Sorry, buddy. Oh, there's trainers. Uh, I think I'll just get them. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to call one, two, I'll call four groups. Because we have enough space for four plus one, which the plus one is, is this one right here. Shell. All right. Trainers would be cool. Because we'll be pushing this back after today or tomorrow or whatever. All right, we want a red fish. And then here we want what? Bluey blueies, lots of blueies. And now we want a blue with a patat, no problem. Do to do, do to do, do to do. And the thing is, though, with with this, I'm, I'm gonna get back to dad and little brother were super into it. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, I used to, I used to, I used to get uh, a lot of the pay per views, uh, not not tons, because they were, you know, they weren't cheap. Even even back in those those days, I think they were still thirty dollars or fifty dollars. Um, I mean, now, I mean, I don't think they're, I wouldn't think they're much more in these days. It's not like they're going to be a hundred dollars. I don't think it's not, not like it's a, uh, boxing or boxing used to be, you know, back in the Tyson, you know, when Mike Tyson was around and, and all that, like boxing was, was huge. Like boxing was the number one, like pay-per-view sport or whatever, you know, now it's, it's obviously it's not, it's not, not boxing anymore. Um, you know, UFC is pretty big right now, but, uh, yeah, it's, you know. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was, what I was saying earlier. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not doing... I mean, for those of you who've been following me for a while on YouTube and whatnot, I haven't been doing too many automation videos because there's like, there's nothing... I'm waiting for another, uh, like a big update, which there isn't one planned as far as I know or what I'm allowed to say or know. There isn't like a huge update plan where there's new stuff. Uh, the modded stuff is cool. Um, it's not as... Well, I don't want to say easy is not the right word. But it's like, yeah, I haven't had too much of that type of content, which I, I miss doing that. I have a couple automation videos that, but like, I remember when the game was, when the game was new and I was able to, uh, this is before modding, like there was, you know, like backdoor modding with Starflux had the, uh, whatever his thing was called, the Beppin or whatever, the, whatever, I don't know what it's called. But anyway, he had all that stuff and, uh, he used to do, he used to do, um, modding where he could spawn and things. Then I would do all my automation videos, my, my, my pizza videos and all that it was so super fun. But now it's like, that's. In the past, and like I thought about it, <coughs> I thought about going back through some of those automation videos, not necessarily to change them, because most of them still work to this day, and just redoing them. But it's like I don't need to do another pizza update; like it's there, it exists. So like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do? Like tips and tricks, and it's just like all these things. It's just like, nah. I don't know. Hey, Megs, nice to see you. That's exactly what happened, Doug. I, I used to do that too with my, with a couple of my buddies. We did that for the ECW wrestling pay-per-views. Oh, hey, happy franchiser, by the way, everybody. Yeah, the seed is called Cuddle. So there's quite a few people um, recommended or suggested it in my, on one of my YouTube videos. So here the thing is, though, is like both of these are kind of crap. Because they're the flower pots are... Well, I'm, I'm going to go grab her. I mean, it's... it's Flower pots are trash. And the problem with taking flower... I'm not going to go back in a second... Jug. but if you take flower pots it takes away a slot typically of one of your drop blueprints and i hate that so we'll start with the grabber both like both of those were kind of crappy anyway but it's all good doesn't matter um yeah about pitching in so yeah we i'd go to my buddy's house yeah we'd each I, or sometimes like i'd bring food like i'd bring pizza and, and, and soda or you know chips and just snack foods and that would kind of cover you know half the cost of the pay-per-view and just with food and then everybody would have some of it and yeah it's it's cool, man. I, I miss I miss those days. So, oh right. So the C, yeah. This is called cuddle. So a bunch of people on my YouTube, one of my some of my YouTube videos said because I always ask on my YouTube videos, hey, do you guys have any seeds that you like, um, or you think that I would like? Like this is very much similar to someone said the old blog Mac, which I don't even remember what that even looks like at this point, but it's similar to this. It has two window openings. You could fit three, four tables. You can fit four. You can't fit five tables here. You can fit four um, quite easily, as you can see. And then I used to always play on the, on the 38 map, which this, I actually like this a little better because, <clears throat> I mean, you, you lose space because of all this, 
but I like it because the 38 map, it goes like this, and it goes like this, like this, like this, and there's no door. So at least this way, you could have research out here <coughs> or something like that. It's only too wide, so it's a bit tricky to do anything more than just this type of research, but it's still, there's, I could get out here during the day. I can get out here. I mean, not that I need to, but I, I could, right? So anyway, anyway, do that to that. Uh, and this is going to go here. And then that's it. <clears throat> and Meg says, um, feeling somewhat better. Yeah, like I'm still having issues with my sciatica, which is like, if that wouldn't be around, I'd be like a lot happier. I mean, the, the weather's been miserable. So I've been kind of, you know, Debbie Downer with that. Uh, I don't have a strep throat anymore. I, I had strep throat for about 10, about eight to 10 days, two week, two or so weeks ago. That was miserable on top of being hurt. Oh my God. It's like, I, I'm officially at six weeks tomorrow for my surgery date. So that's the, the day, the, the, the amount of time I was told to not do anything. Don't lift, don't do this, but not have this sciatic flare up, which it's in my left leg down at the bottom of my leg, like your, what your calf muscle, whatever that into like my ankle. It's like, it moves around every couple of days. And, and I was, was told from years ago, as long as like the pain and the, and the irritation is moving, it's a good thing. If it stays stagnant for more than a few days, that's when there's like a, more of a concern. But it's like, I just hate bending and like hurting or like kneeling down. Like I'm just so physically, I'm so weak. And just like, I'm not like I'm melting away, like I'm losing, you know, 100 pounds or like like that type of weakness or sickness. It's just like, oh, I just feel so weak. And it's like summer's coming relatively soon. It snowed last night, you know, and it was two degrees this morning, fair enough, or two degrees Celsius this morning. It's like, uh, next week's supposed to be like 17, 18 degrees, which is like, that's in the 60s, 65 or just close to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's, that's going to mean I want to get out with my bees. I want to get my mowers out. It's like. I got to feel better. I'm, I'm so sick of this. But it is what it is. Too young to do anything for the pay per views. Always made my parents sit through all the roll. Ah, there you go. Cool. Okay. Um, next thing I want to do, or the last thing I want to do, is basically uh, do this and do that and do this and do that and do this. And we still need prep stations. All right. I'm still going to do, I'm still going to do this. That way I can always have extra and extra something here. <clears throat> what time is it, by the way? It is 11.52. I have to figure out my OBS, by the way, because before, like, my kilobits per second, my drop frames used to be at the, it's at the bottom of the screen. It used to be in the middle. I don't know how to get it back to the middle because, like, now i got to look all the way to the right-hand side. I don't know how to get that back. Ever since I redid, I completely erased OBS, and I completely did a fresh restart. And it took me a while to, like, get things back to where I wanted it. And I'm still missing tons of things, of course. Um, but now it's like the thing at the bottom, I want it in the middle. I just don't know how to get it. <clears throat> I just don't know how to get it back there. If any, of you, if any of you who use OBS, when you're recording or streaming at the bottom of the screen, it says drop frames, live, like time, recording time, CPU usage, and then it has like your kilobits per second, whatever. Mine's all on the right-hand side of the screen. How do I get it to the middle of the screen in the bottom? So if anybody knows... Just shoot me a message. <clears throat> okay, what time is it? It is 11.53. Um, I got to see what time, if this guy's on his way or not. We're getting close to me having to wrap it up um, today. So let me just see once. I can play for a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I can play for a little bit longer. So we'll do, we'll do a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> my schedule, I keep saying um so much. I hate, I hate saying um. It's just, sometimes you just, you just, you can't help yourself. So let's just, let's just play. Um, let's play. So anyway, yeah, um, God, I keep, I keep saying that. <laughs> I know, oh, I totally blew, I totally blew past the blueprint cabinet. Dang, that stinks. That stinks. I wasn't paying attention. I actually want prep station, not blueprint cabinets, but you didn't know. So anyway, yeah, it's like, uh, I'm going to serve you a while. Um, yeah, so as far as streaming and stuff, I, I, what I was going to say is I don't have, I don't have a schedule. I don't, I don't have, um, I, I don't, I don't have a schedule yet. I'd like to get back into doing it very, why is everybody like individual dining right now? I'd like to get back into doing it fairly regularly. It's just a matter of, it's just time, right? Uh, with, 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 well, with, with everything, but we're getting there. We're gonna get we're gonna get there at some point. And also there's another there's a new game. Oh, it's not new. A new game to me that right now um, Monica 
I was playing Eco with her and her her subscribers, I guess you would say, uh, her, her her from her friends uh, a while ago, and then I stopped playing because I was getting. I don't need to go too much into it. I don't know who's lurking around here, but I got a little bit. It's kind of upset with some of the things that were going on there, so I stopped playing, uh, which was kind of stupid of me to do. Uh, but anyway, she has a, a game. It's called uh, Conan Exiles, and I was able to get a, be uh, a game pass thing for this. Are you serious right now? This Xbox Game Pass thing. So I may be checking it out. Uh, I actually that is it, the game is 90 gigabytes. So I had to delete. I had to delete a whole bunch of things from my computer to download this stinking thing. And so, so I may be playing that. I'm about on stream, but we'll see. I've never played it before. Um, I'm not sure how much of it that type of game it is for me, but we'll see. So I may be streaming some of that. But I want to get back into doing Factorio. By Factorio series is still in the works. I um, mean, you guys like watching me play played up, but you know, I also like coming and just chit chat and just you know shooting the breeze as they say. So. So Meg says, I'm excited for the Switch. Yes, there are, I'm not sure what the release, when when that's happening. But yes, uh, console games and all that stuff are for played up. It's, it's coming, you know, soon, you know, TM. But it's coming soon, which is going to be great for a lot of people who prefer to play on those type of device. Two scrubby brushes. Ace, what is this? What is that junk? Two scrubby brushes. So, yeah, it's going to be great. A lot of people, a lot of people, excuse me, like playing on those type of platforms. And that's awesome. And I'm glad that that played up is going to be able to be played on that. Now, whether it's going to be like cross platform where you can play with someone on, I don't know how that works because I think the multiplayer is different. Like if you play on Switch, there's no Steam, right? So I don't know how you would connect to someone. I don't know how that's going to work. But in, in any case, it doesn't really matter. That's so many. It is too many gigabytes. I was like, oh my god. So because like when i went to download it had to, like my internet's not that good well, i mean it, it's country internet it's good enough but basically what it was is you know when you click on it to download it and it says you know space required space available so yet yeah, last night space required 90.7 or whatever space available 97 gigabytes so i went on i went on steam i uninstalled a whole bunch of games stuff that i don't play and i freed up about another 30 40 gigabytes um, so now I'm like, now I'm fine. Cause if, if you use up almost all your hard drive and you're trying to play games and do things like it's not going to work, it just won't work. Something's going to mess up or break, especially I record all of my, um, I record all of my, my streams. So like those files are saved and they're, they're quite a lot. Like a two hour stream will probably be, I can tell you right now how much it's going to be. Cause I can, I can see it right now. It's at, oh, zero. Okay, put it this way. So a every 30 minutes is roughly 500 megabytes. So you're talking probably three, four gigabytes, like with when it's all said and done. So it's a lot. But anyway, thank you, Murdog, for stopping by. Have a have a great rest of your day. October. Okay, yeah, that's, that's soon. I mean, relatively speaking, it'll be freaking. It, spring is just getting underway up here in Ontario. And it'll be fall in, a, in two months. It'll be cold again. That's just how that's just how it works up here, right? <clears throat> but that's okay. All right, we're gonna keep buying these. We'll play for a few more days, and then we'll then we'll probably wrap it up. I want to wrap it up in the next probably ten minutes. So we'll uh, we'll see what we get up to here, and we'll uh, keep rocking and rolling. October, cool. And like I said, I'm still on the, I'm still on the Discord. I'm just not on it as much as I used to be. You know, back in the play test days, where people would come on, they ask questions about the game and all this. It was a lot more uh, involved. Like I was a lot more involved with the the uh, the Discord because uh, I didn't have any behind the scenes, you know, stuff. I wasn't a moderator or anything at that time. But uh, oh, why don't you actually need this here anymore? Because we have three. But uh, what was I gonna say? And I was answering questions because I, I was part of the play test, so I was playing it all the time. But now you know everybody has it, so the the play test. Like, it's not as much information. Oops, someone's gonna get a free. Uh, Free potato. Mm -mm -mm. So I don't. Uh, I'm not playing it as much. I'm not on the Discord as much as I guess what I wanted to say. But a lot of people, you know, a lot of people on there that are. Look at all the mess. So this is 100% why I back tables up. Because if not, you'd have messes here like crazy, and it would be. Uh, it'd be not fun. Not fun. We can call a couple of people. Like we're not. We're just waiting now. Right? We're just waiting for people to show up. 
Scrubby brush again. We're getting somebody. I think Ace must be doing something to the game here. All right, what do we got there? Uh, do, mm -mm. See, having it like this is almost the same thing as having a prep station because you're never going to be using more than two at a time, right? So if I'd have prep stations here, this is like, I, I, don't, I don't need prep stations. I don't know. Uh, I'll take that this time of the, the game. I'm just going to buzz through the rest of the customers because we don't need, need them. Can I pick this up? Can I? Jeez, at least. <laughs> okay. Uh, where's Mad want? Yeah, if you're quick enough, they won't change their they won't change their mind. Sometimes you're not quick enough. There we go. That's everybody, I think. Perfect. Um, you know, guys, I will say a couple things. One is if if you're new and you're just kind of hanging out, uh, feel free to hit the follow button. That'd be great. Um, and my goal for reaching June or the summer was to hit a thousand, and I hit a thousand followers while I was away. Because people would watch the VODs, they'd find me from YouTube, and they'd click on it, and they'd follow and whatever. So now we're over a thousand, so I never got to celebrate the thousand follower like milestone with everybody. But for those of you who are, are following, have been following me forever, um, thank you so much. You know, I never thought I'd get to a thousand, but I did now, and you know, it's onwards and upwards, or upwards and onwards, or whatever you, however, whatever you how it's said. And uh, yeah, you know, on to uh, 2,000, I guess. I guess that's the next, uh, I don't know if I need anything right now. On on to the next the next goal, which I guess would be two thousand. I don't know. That seems like a lot of people. <laughs> two thousand. Jeez. Um. Yeah, I don't actually still need any of these things, but I'm just buying them anyway. Why not? Let's just uh, let's just keep rocking. I mean, we we're just, we're just kind of uh, just kind of screwing around here a little bit. I'm gonna call three, four groups maybe. The hosting stand is back, which I I've, I've never used the hosting stand in the beginning. Never use it now. I just uh, don't use it. Don't use it. All right, what do we got? What do we want? What do we want? I'm just basically letting everybody change their order if they want to. Doesn't look like anybody else is going to. Also, I'm glad I didn't get a phone call from my from the school because like my son was having it. He was having a trouble this morning. Um, my five and a half year old. He's he's very like he's on the spectrum and stuff, and he's very like sensitive with everything. And he, uh, they didn't let him play in the grass this morning because it was it was raining and it was so muddy here, and he like had a meltdown and I had to stay with him and then eventually he was able to go inside the classroom before the other kids and and he said then he said he didn't feel good you know kids are like I don't feel good well you feel you're you're perfectly fine no, I don't feel good okay and then I'm like I told his teacher I said if he if he doesn't feel well later on just just let me know and I'll come pick him up and I haven't got a call from him. Haven't gotten a call from the school, so I'm, I'm guessing he's fine. So, look at the messes. I don't know why we have so many messes, honestly. <laughs> Doesn't matter, but we have a lot of messes. Man, I love having it like this. This is so, so fast. I mean, like, if you're auto, if you're auto, I'm getting off topic here. If you're automating, like, fish or something, oh, I'm missing a potato. Like, this is the best way to do it. I mean, the, the conveyor mixer is irrelevant. You could be regular mixer and then another grabber, it doesn't matter. But it's just like, you know, just banging out, boom, boom, boom. And you know, it's, we haven't even gotten oysters. And that's the thing, I, I thought we'd have oysters, which we haven't gotten oysters at all, which is a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing, of course. All right, what do you want? Doom, boom, boom, there we go. So you haven't gotten a call from the schools, so that's a good thing, so hopefully, Hopefully the rest of his day is okay. I'm sure it will be. It's just when little things set him off sometimes where he just gets... I'm guessing they're going to want red with a potato. Oh, I didn't do my... Shoot, I didn't do my research. Shoot. Crap. Totally forgot. Thank you, Odin. Much appreciated. Uh, come on, come on, come on. At least give me, at least give me this. My... Oh, it was this close. Ah, it's all good. Stress makes you feel not great. I can see how a kid doesn't have the words to say it. Well, yeah, it's... I hate oysters. Yeah, they're... Well, let's see what... You guys can see right now what it is. Oh, well, this is a no-brainer. This is a no... This is a no-brainer. Well, actually, actually, you know what? This, this actually isn't a no-brainer. Because you have leisurely eating... Actually, no... Yes, because if you have individual dining, your groups your groups are going to go up. 
Bamboo actually, you know, I'm going to see what you guys think. Bamboo isn't actually that bad. We can't, can we automate it right now? Mm, we're, we're, cl uh, we're close to automating it. Very close. We'll see what you guys think. Yeah, I mean, individual dining. Okay, so, so here's the thing. I'm not going to spoil anything. If you guys like to watch my YouTube clips and you don't want it spoiled, just turn your sound off until I choose what I'm going to choose here. Because I want to tell everybody else. Because not everybody watches my stuff. So my breakfast run that I'm doing, I have individual dining, leisurely eating, as well as instant service. I have all of those, right? So it's... It's crazy with individual dining. I think I think it's on this wrong. I may be actually wrong, so don't don't quote me. But it's with individual dining. The problem is, is it's easier because you only have one dish, one you know, one dish, one messy dish. But the problem is, like, it takes that many more people to wait. But it looks like everyone's individual dining, so I guess we'll do individual dining because it's gonna go up to what 22? 22. because that just means is that. But it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, you have to cook it. That's all you gotta do is you just cook it. Boil and portion, you get three portions, and that's it. Oh, thank you, Stream Elements. Oh, I don't know if Stream Elements is working, because I don't think I've seen a link for my YouTube channel at all, have I? I don't know if I did. We'll just do this. There. If you're not, uh, is that gonna work? There you go. Oh my God. So I, I looked at my channel right now. So right now my subscriber count is 6.66. No wonder I'm hurting and I'm so sick all the time. <laughs> I just, I haven't looked at my subscriber count on YouTube for a while. It's 666. Awesome. So anyway, if you're not subscribed, head on over to YouTube to break that 666 and give me some, give me my good luck back. Oh gosh. That's funny. Uh, that's funny. Oh, I ended up not copying the the copy table, which is like what I wanted to copy. That's all right. We're gonna, just going to do this. We're just going to store these. I'm not going to do anything with this. It's all good. Oh, that works too. I think, well, I clicked on that. I clicked on the link that I put in and it worked. I don't know. Maybe do you have to do it both ways? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right. What's our time? I think I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do one more day and then I'm going to call it. It's getting late for me. The hay guy. Hey, now. The hay guy's going to be here. I don't exactly know when. <clears throat> We're all going to assume it's, it's after 12. I have to have lunch. i going to feed the animals. The dog, well, she wasn't here. Now she left. And, uh, yeah. So we'll do one more day, and then we will, uh, what's the day? We'll call it. Do one more day, and we'll call it a day. How about that? Does that sound good? I think that sounds good. Have a great time, Doug. Thank you for stopping by. It's always nice to see you. Yeah, I have I have chores I got well the chores that I can physically do, which I mean isn't much Well, okay, it's not there's not much. It's just not that much. I shouldn't be doing that much. <coughs> Excuse me. So I just kinda try to take it easy. Yeah, leisurely eating with individual dining it can be a bit tricky. You need to have the the coffee tables. Like that's what you need. Like that. I'm gonna take that coffee table as well. And we also have, you know, the the change order. So yeah, it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty getting to be a pretty tricky run. I mean, we have automation done, thankfully, so we don't have to mess with that, obviously. But you know, leisure. I mean, leisure is it's not terrible. Leisurely eating isn't terrible. Um, I mean, the affordable buff helps with that. I mean, I'd love to. I mean, I'm I'm a big instant ordering fan. And the thing is, though, is with instant ordering, is you think, oh, it's it's instant. It's not instant. They sit down, and there's a slight timer, like, there, now it'll be instant. So there, there's always a slight timer, which, in my last YouTube run, really screwed me around, which you guys will see when you see one, two, three, four, now, they'll, now the order will show up. So, like, there's at least a one and a half to two second kind of buffer there where it's not instant. So I'd like a, cor a card where it's it more instant. But for those of you who have watched me play this or anybody play this you know way like a year ago or maybe you know quite a little bit less than a year ago is the way that it used to be is that you could actually serve customers before they sat down so it was very very over op like oh are you kidding me it was very very broken and then that had to be fixed 
Because like if you'd have a line out the door, as soon as they'd walk in the restaurant, you could take their order. Or if instant ordering would be like the orders would go through right away. And you could see how that would be well, cheaty, very, very cheaty, by the way. So then that was obviously, you know, nerfed that you can't they have to be sitting before the orders will actually go through. So I mean I understand why, but I, I you know, I played in the playtest days, I would say playtest days, I played in the playtest days where those little quirky bugs existed and it was it was so fun <laughs> because you could have a lot of customers and you were you were serving them and they weren't even sitting down it was like boom 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 you weren't even sitting them they weren't even sitting down and you know, i was those were the days until aj fixed it <laughs> basically because it was very it was very broken you know mind you all right so what i was saying earlier is is on monica miss monica plays uh, if, if you guys no played up and are on the Discord at all. You know who Miss Monica is. Um, she uh, she has a, a sub. If you're a subscriber to her channel, she has a, a server for, that's doing the game called Conan Exiles. And I'm going to give it a shot. I downloaded the game. It was 90 freaking gigabytes. God. And uh, I'm going to give it a shot. Whether I'll stream it or not, I don't know. I've never played it. It's you know it's an MMO, but it's if you're playing on a private server, it's not it's an, it's not really an MMO. But you can die in the game. I hate dying. Like, World of Warcraft I can play because it's, it's different because i played it before, right? If that makes sense. This one is a little bit different because I never played it. And so, I don't know if I'll be streaming that. I want to... Look at their freaking prep station. There you go. Prep stations. Oh, what a craziness. Craziness, craziness, craziness. So, yeah. That's kind of what... I guess what I'm getting at is... I shouldn't have bought that one. The fact that uh, I may be playing that. Uh, as far as streaming goes ahead. I'm going to stop here, by the way. And I'm gonna do played up, of course. Always do played up. Love doing played up. You guys love, you know, love doing played up. If there are any other games, <coughs> Mickey says six point six seven. That is that is that does make a hundred percent sense, Appy. Thank you for checking that. Bar tables make a big difference with that. Now that you have individual, yes, bar tables. So that's good. That's a good point. We should try to look into bar tables. Um, the problem though with bar tables is. No, you won't get a mess because they're sitting on the other side. As I have to get bar table, I have to get a table. I should look into bar tables. You're right because I could line them up. I could have one, two, three. I could have six of them. Actually, I could have seven. Um, but I mean, we're doing fine. I keep kind of combating that with having coffee tables, which you know, it, it doesn't do the same thing because bar tables. There's no, what is it? No thinking phase or something or whatever. It's no something phase. I don't remember what it is. I don't really use bar tables, but that's a good point. Thank you. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, yes. Uh, I, I, I don't know what other games I'll be streaming. Like, I want to get into streaming other games. I love doing played up, of course, you know. Uh, I want to get back into doing Factorio. Well, doing Factorio. I have a Ribbon World series going. I like to do streaming of that. Uh, maybe Conan Exiles. And then if there's other games that you guys might want me to play, you kind of know my genre. I'm not into, like, FPS games. I'm not into, like, gory games, scare games like Phasmophobia. Like, I, I can't do games like that. It's just not my thing. But uh, if there's other games, just let me know. Like I'm always on Discord. You can always reach me through that, or um, on YouTube. You can always leave comments on YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure if YouTube used to have like a messaging system. I don't think that exists. Does that exist anymore? Private messages on, on YouTube? I don't even know. No idea. I mean, it does on Twitch, I think. But anyway, you guys can reach me. Pokemon Nuzlocke. What is that? What is that, Odin? <laughs> What's Nuzlocke? What is that? Is that a game? Or I could do one of those things where I get the, the Pokemon cards and I open them up. Uh oh, Maple says, "Oh boy," because I'm. I probably it means I should know what that is. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna go copy, and I'm gonna go right over to here, and I'm gonna look it up before I get bombarded. What is that? okay? What is this? But what the heck is this? Nuzlocke challenge, Bubba. Okay, let's see. You guys can't see this. Set of rules intended to create a high level of difficulty playing the Pokemon game. Many challenges that feel that rules are for the purpose of da da da. I don't even play Pokemon. Where do you play Pokemon at? Is there is there an online game for Pokemon? <laughs> like with the cards, you mean? Like what would I play that on? I didn't know there was a I didn't know there was a, a computer like a PC version of Pokemon. 
Oh, like, how would I play that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I, I have a Switch. I bought it six weeks ago when I had my surgery. I'm like, oh, if I can sit in bed and play games, and I have, I've barely used it. It's just like, it was not comfortable for me to sit up in bed at the time. It wasn't comfortable at all, so I didn't play it. So I have a Switch. I barely ever used it. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. <coughs> got it, got it, got it, got it. <coughs> I wish they come out with like a PC version of Pokemon. Why not? Blizzard. Blizzard makes enough money. Well, who, who makes Pokemon? Not Blizzard. I don't know why I said Blizzard. I'm going to think World of Warcraft. They could do like a Pokemon. They should do like a Pokemon online game for PC. I wonder if it'd be popular. No, thank you though for the idea. I don't think I would do something like that. I don't have... I don't have a... Uh, like I have a Switch, but like I have a Switch Lite. I don't know if I can put that... I don't, I don't, know, how to, I don't know how to do that. But I could look into it. Like I love the... I had the original, original, I still have it. Let me just, I might have it right here, hold on. Let me just see where I have it. <coughs> we'll end the stream this way. No, where is it? Shoot, I don't know where it is. I have, oh, hold on, I have it right here, one second. Here's some, uh, here's some nostalgia, right? And then, then we're going to wrap it up here. So check this out. See this? Huh? What do you think about that? I mean, I don't know. I don't think they're worth anything. This is an original Pokemon Red from the original Game Boy from, this is from what year was this? What was Pokemon Red released? What year was that? I don't know. But anyway, and I have an original Game Boy, my original Game Boy. From when I was a kid, from like 1990, 98. So I have it, I'm, I'm pointing where it is. I have it over there. Original Game Boy. So I, I played Pokemon many, many, I don't I never beat it, but like I love playing this one. Original Game Boy, no color, no backlit screen, you know. Everybody's spoiled these days. With all the fancy technology. <laughs> anyway, 97, I have no idea. I have no idea. It doesn't say it on the, uh, it doesn't say it on the cartridge. Um, it just has um, Pokemon. It's just red. It's well, it's called Pokemon Red, I guess. Uh, it doesn't have a date on it. Just says made in Japan. Well, of course it was, because that's where these were made. Um, like it's in mint condition. Like it's it's very still very good condition. But uh, anyway, Pokemon Red. I have a bunch of. I have the original Tetris, original Tetris, original baseball. I have Ninja Turtles, and I have. I'm not going to get up again. It hurts, my, it hurts my legs every time I get to get up. So I'm not going to get up again. But I have like four or five original Game Boy games still I have. I don't play them. My Game Boy works. It's, it's, in, it's in pretty mint condition. I mean, it's not in like a package or a box, but it's pretty mint condition. Um, it's one of those like, oh, you should, it's not worth it. Like, they're not worth anything. You can buy them. You can go online right now to eBay or go to a pawn shop anywhere probably in the U.S. or up here, and you could probably buy a Game Boy, you know. So It's a collector's item for me because it's cool. So... <laughs> but anyway, so what I'm going to do is I want to, I'm going to, I'm going to load up a raid. I haven't raided anybody. I don't even know how to, if I remember even how to do that. I'm going to do a, I'm going to pull this up here. I'm going to do a raid. I'm gonna, so I have to pull up my other thing to see who's on. Who do I want to raid right now? And, oh, I know who I'm going to raid. Bryony's playing. Bryony is playing played up. Who's she playing with? Bryony is also part of the Yogscast stream. You know, I'm I am part of the Yogscast ambassador team. I gotta wait for the my uh, the ad to go through. We have 20 seconds, so we'll chit chat for a bit. But we're gonna raid Bryony, Bryony K, who is part of uh, Yogs Yogscast. Which most of you probably know who that is. If you know, played up and you watch the Yogscast stuff, uh, you have another 15 seconds. So I'm gonna set that up, of course, <coughs> um, to raid Bryony. So as far as coming, I'm gonna mute the ad. So as far as when I'm gonna play again. I don't know. If you guys are following me, you'll obviously get the notification. If you're not, hit the button. Uh, we hit a thousand followers the other day. She's playing with, I don't know who those two people are. Not that it matters, but uh, they're doing. She's doing a. They're OT day eight. They're doing fish, big time fish. Nice. Their setup looks a little bit better than mine because they're a little bit more advanced. Like you know, they're into it a lot more than me. They're playing on a. I don't know what map it is. 
Um, but anyway, I'm just going to mute her a bit again. So anyway, guys, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for, for the subs, the new subs, the gift subs. We're getting close to our, our, our sub goal. We're at 19 of 25. Uh, my next goal is going to be 25 subs. That'd be awesome to reach that uh, in the next couple of weeks. That'd be great. And yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to be on again. I may try to be on tomorrow. I'm just going to look at my calendar very quickly. Um, I may try to be on tomorrow during the day, but definitely within the next few days, either during the day or at night, I'm going to be on. I'm going to do something. I want to get back, be around with you guys. All my, like my night crew, like my friends that watch at night, you don't watch during the day from time zones or whatever. Um, that's why I like to kind of mix it up a bit. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to go. We're going to start the raid for Brian. We got 10 second runoff here. Um, and yes, yeah, stick around, go over there, tell her that uh, you came from the, the, the greatest dream ever. <laughs> you can tell her that the played up king sent you. But uh, Bryony, hopefully she remembers who I am. I haven't spoken to her in quite a long time. Anyway, guys, let's go over to see Bryony, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. It's been so fun. So fun being back to see you guys. All right. Take care now.